Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by my husband, Kevin, <laughs> and we are, I saw like this fun idea people have been doing lately is mukbangs. And I thought it would be fun to kind of mix it up a little bit into a mukbang book haul. So I have a lot of books that I got this month. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's get started. We just went and got like just drive through food. So <laughs> let's just start eating here. I'm really hungry. I apologize. So just go ahead and grab some food and watch along with us because otherwise we'll just be eating in front of you. Which is fine too, I guess. Which is fine too, yeah that's what you're into. Yeah, I am so excited to have some food. I got some tater tots and those are like the best. Oh look, they put peppermint in my tater tots. All right. The injustice. The injustice. All right, so. Hot dog. Mm, so good. He decided that it would be a really good idea to get a Coney dog for this video, which made me laugh a lot. <laughs> okay, so, um, this month, like I said, was a really big book haul month for me. You guys can't see it yet, but there is a lot of stuff here. So, one of the first books I got this month was Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. I've actually, yeah, it's a girl laying down. Oh. <laughs> I actually have Obviously. already <laughs> yeah, I've actually already read and enjoyed this book. I just didn't have a physical copy of it and I will be seeing her at a signing again later this year. I've actually seen her once this year already, but um I'll be seeing her again later this year when we go to a big signing, which Kevin is coming with me, so mm -hmm. that'll be a lot of fun. But um I'm excited to get it signed. This one is probably it's a lot of people's favorites it's not my most favorite of hers though um it follows sky who is a senior in high school and she meets bad boy dean holder and it's kind of like it all goes along from there you know i feel like you can tell um i really enjoyed it and it's just a romance story it does get pretty dark though so just oh. a heads up i feel like most people have read this book yet except for you hmm. <laughs> Okay. Some um, problems in it? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so there were also a lot of uh, manga that I picked up this month, like a lot. I did participate in a manga readathon. So um, I did also pick up Vampire Night Memories. This is volume two by Matsuri Hino. I have actually not even read the first one. I own the first volume, but I haven't read it yet. And I saw this and went ahead and got it because I do plan on going back and reading it. I have read most of the Vampire Night um, manga, which is, of course, I feel like it's pretty obvious what's it, what it's about. It's about vampires, right? I feel like, I mean, you've read it before, so I feel like it's pretty obvious what it's about. Um, and this is, my understanding is that this one actually takes place later on in the future. Um, and it kind of, I don't really know what it's all about, but I'm going to go back and finish it one day. I don't know. We'll see how I feel at the end probably about taxes or something. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I also picked up five volumes of manga here. I feel like I'm like exposing myself to you, like my book buying habits. <laughs> this is like an expose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, this is To Kane and Hana by Yuki Shiwasu. This is probably one of the funniest manga I've ever read. You should read this, actually, sometime. Mm -hmm. um, it follows a high school girl who ends up being in, like, an arranged marriage meeting with an older guy. I think he's, like, our age, like, 26 or something like that. But it's it, it sounds awful. So, like, just reading the back of this book, it sounds, like, exactly like what you're thinking. But... It's funny, and they don't really have, like, a true romantic relationship. It's more like a, like, friendship. And it's cute. It's so cute. It's so funny. Very, just cracks me up. Especially because Hana is just such, like, a kick-butt female character, and Takane is just so immature. I really enjoy these, and I'm glad to have them. And I cannot wait to get more of them. I need food. <laughs> Mmm, so good. 
Sonic should sponsor me. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next book I picked up is Run Away With Me by Mila Gray. This is a part of her. I don't even know if this series has a name and if I, I don't know. It's like the third book in a series, third or fourth, I don't know, don't quote me, but it's in her series that she's been writing. It all kind of involves like companion novels. They're romance stories. They're really cute, really sappy. Usually they can be pretty dark. Um, this one sounds like it's going to be a second chance romance, which is like one of my favorites. Does that look cute? I think it looks nice. I really like her covers. Mm -hmm. Um, I also picked up Burned by Karen Marie Monning. I don't know if it's Monning or Morning. I, I have no idea how to pronounce her name. This is a part of her Fever series, which I've actually only read book one, if I'm being completely honest. And this is like, I have no idea how far along in the series this book is. We all know why you bought that book. <laughs> I like the cover a lot. <laughs> I think it's great. Look at the flames and the fire. Yep. It's very cute. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, but this, of course, you know, is in the Fever series. I feel like most of us have probably heard about the Fever series. Um, it's a... I wouldn't even know how to classify it because it's not a true romance series. And even she says it's not a true romance series. But it's, like, marketed as romance. I don't know. But I'm sure most of you have heard about it. They're adult fantasy paranormal books involves a girl who ends up traveling to Ireland because her sister has gone missing and she wants to find out what happened to her sister. But yeah, so I did get this book this month. You could like beat somebody with this. Mm -hmm. That's a heavy book. Here, why don't you tell them what you think this book is about? <laughs> well, what's it called? Wildfire. By Alona Andrews. Mm -hmm. Did you know that they're a husband and wife author duo? Oh, yeah. Is that them on the cover? No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Mm. I don't know what this is about. Uh, maybe tornadoes? <laughs> tornadoes? You got wild <laughs> tornadoes out of wildfire? There's a tornado in the background. Mm. I mean, mm. obviously, it's about these two <laughs> touching parts, but... <clears throat> <laughs> I don't think... So. <laughs> Are they related or something? Why no. would you put relatives holding each other like that on your cover? <laughs> no. Am I right? <laughs> Weird, huh? Mm. This is actually the third book in the Hidden Legacy series. Um, they are not related. It is a couple on the front, but Tornado. it's more of, it's, it's, see, it's, it's classified as a parano paranormal romance story, but I read book one and there wasn't a lot of, like, there was very little romance in it. So I don't know. This is book three. I haven't gotten to book two yet, so I can't really tell. Um, but it follows Nevada Baylor, who is kind of like this, like, kick butt investigator who's like hired by like this paranormal society. It's really good. I know you're judging it super hardcore. No, I'm like, sorry. I'm waiting for the tornadoes part. I have no idea where the tornado comes from. Mm -hmm. I don't know why there's a tornado on it when it says wildfire, but I, I suppose, I don't know. We're getting too technical here, but can't wait to read this. I will probably end up, oops, listening to it on audiobook. Tornadoes. Tornadoes. Next up, I did pick up The Sea King by C.L. Wilson. This is a clunker of a book. Mm -hmm. And it is, of course, yes, a romance story. Um, it is an adult romance fantasy series. Um, this one, of course, follows uh, Sea King. I feel like I don't even need to say much more. I really, really, really love C.L. Wilson. She is such a good author, and her romance stories are top-notch. So I'm excited to get to this. Um, and I really like the dress the girl is wearing in this. I really like that green color. Did you just steal my tot? <laughs> Ten years dungeon. <laughs> um, I also picked up this month this Scott of Mine uh, by Sophie Jordan. This is a novel in her Rogue Files. This is a historical romance novel. Uh, it sounds like the main character is desperate to escape her fiancé. And it even specifically says vile fiancé. So like... 
he's god awful. Um, but she comes up with a lie that she is pregnant with another man's baby. And I assume things get crazy from there. I actually really like Sophie Jordan's writing and I've met her in person. She's a wonderful person. So I'm excited to support her and read this book. And good for me, historical novels are really quick for me to get through. Thank goodness. Word up, yeah. <laughs> Word up. I also picked up Hit the Spot by Jay Daniels. This is, I think, the second book in her series, uh, in the Dirty Deeds series. It's a good series title, I know. Um, it's about a golfer, right? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> um, so it, it follows Tori and Jamie, who is, Jamie is a rude Dude, he's a bad guy. Well, you know what I mean. Like, the rude, cocky, self-assured male character. Yeah, that old chestnut. Yeah, and he's a player, so, you know, and she's like, you know... A golf player. I don't think... He, I don't know if he plays golf or not. I haven't read the book, but... Um, it's just a nice, cute romance story. I enjoy Jay Daniels, Jay Daniels' writing, and I can't wait to read it. I also like the very bright covers. Let's see. I've got a huge stack still. I'm sorry, y'all. Mm. Uh, the next book I picked up was Kiss of Crimson by Laura Adrian. She's, this is a part of her Midnight Breed series, which I had recommended to me because I really enjoyed J.R. Ward's Black Dagger Brotherhood series. So I picked this one up and read it. Well, I haven't read this one specifically, but I am working on reading book one in the series. And it's very similar to the Black Dagger Brotherhood. Um, they are vampire romance series with like other things going on in the world battling you know an evil they're good so far we'll see how it turns out mm. all right here you go i feel like you could sum up this one easy magical garment girl <laughs> sailor moon <laughs> Funny story, our three-year-old loves Sailor Moon, and she quotes it all the time, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. But I did pick up this edition of Sailor Moon. This is the um, Eternal Edition, which is like the newest editions of Sailor Moon that are coming out, and I'm excited to have it because it's got some actual colored pages in there. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It is very pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next up... I did pick up some J.R. Ward books this month, which is like so on brand for me, I don't even know. Um, I of course picked up Blood Vow. The cool thing about Blood Vow is I actually found this on Book Outlet, and it was signed, and it came signed. Like they weren't just playing with my heart. It actually is signed. Is it signed too? It's uh, just an insert, page insert signed. So that was really exciting for me because I love J.R. Ward so much, and this is, of course, a novel in the um, Black Dagger Legacy, which is a spinoff from the Black Dagger Brotherhood. Don't know who it's about. Don't want to know who it's about because I don't want to spoil myself at all. He just discovered her author picture on the back. You should show him. It's pretty B.A. Like, she looks like she could kick your butt. Yeah. She looks like a really successful divorce lawyer. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think she is, like, really a lawyer. <laughs> picked up The Chosen, which is a novel in the Black Dagger Brotherhood. Could also seriously harm somebody with this book. And I also got The Angel's Share, which is book two in her Bourbon Kings novel. I read book one and I wanted to continue on with the series, so I went ahead and picked this one up. It actually follows like a family who make bourbon. So they, they make whiskey and the crazy lives that they live. There's murder in it. No. Yeah. No way. Very mysterious. Mm. We make bourbon and murder. <laughs> I also picked up some more manga. I picked up Demon Love Spell. I wonder what that's about. <laughs> by <laughs> Mayu Shinojo. And this is volumes one two, three, four, six. I, for some reason, they didn't have five at half price. They had, the person just kept five. They didn't turn in five. It must have been a really good edition. I don't know. But 
I think this is literally where a shrine maiden and a demon fall in love. I think that's literally the story. I feel like it's pretty obvious what it's about though, like, it's it literally says demon love spell. But look at how cute the little character- Oh, look at how cute he is in the back. He looks so cute. Oh, he's just adorable. I can't wait to read them, I'm very excited. Going on with the manga though, like I said, it was a really big manga month for me. I also picked up volumes 3, 4, and 5 of Phantom Dream by Natsuki Takaya, and she is of course the author of Fruits Basket. And this is her other series other than Fruits Basket. I actually think this one came before she did Fruits Basket. Um, <clears throat> and basically it follows a guy who expels demonic creatures from the world. An it's very exorcist. good. Yeah, but like they don't call him an exorcist. It's like some other name that I can't remember because memory issues, I guess. Because science. Because science, yes. <laughs> I've actually already read and enjoyed these and I'm excited to have them on my shelf. Word. Word. Let's see what else I got here. We're getting down to the final steps here. Okay, I also picked up Bride of the Water God. This is by me, Kung Young, and I know I'm mispronouncing that. I apologize. I know. <laughs> I'm so awful at this. Um, I do have volumes one, two, three, four, and five here. This is a very, very beautiful, like, look at how beautiful the artwork is. Very beautiful artwork. Um, it's actually not it's, it's a manga, but it's called uh, Sejong Manhua, and I know I'm mispronouncing it, but um, this is a, a Korean manga, basically. Um, very, very beautiful artwork. It follows the bride of a water god, a girl who is sacrificed to the water god, Hebek, and he ends up making her his bride. I feel like it's pretty, I mean, like, manga's pretty, you can pretty much tell by the name, usually. But it's beautiful artwork. I was gonna, I really want to continue on with this series, but... For some reason, some of the later, and maybe they didn't publish enough or something like that, but some of the later volumes in this series are, like, incredibly in expensive, like 50 bucks for one volume. So I want to continue, but I also want money, so <laughs> I'm kind of at a standstill here. <laughs> um, mm, this one, you know this one. Oh yeah. It's an anime also. I watched it on Funimation. It was okay. From yeah. what I saw of it. This is Kakurio Bed and Breakfast for Spirits um, with art by Waiko Ayoka. Original story by Midora Yumi Yuma. Sorry, I'm awful. And character designed by Larua. So like three different people specifically worked on this manga and that's probably why it's so awesome looking like it's got some really awesome drawings in here. Very, very well done manga. Um, it's actually like a newer one here in the US. I think that this is actually like there's only two volumes out. This is volume two. I already read and loved volume one so I picked up volume two. It just released in March and I've already read and loved it also. It follows the story of a girl who is kidnapped into the spirit world and she finds out that her grandfather owes a debt to like an ogre and she basically has to pay it back or become his bride so she's gonna work on paying him back because she doesn't want to marry him very pretty i really like the artwork in that one a lot someone's doing their yard like good on him like we should be yeah, I should be doing that. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to weasel out of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also picked up Beautiful Stranger by Christina Lauren. I think this is book two in her Beautiful Bastard series. They're beautiful. I forget. It's an author duo. Um, <clears throat> did you know that, like, the first book, and I don't know about the later books, but the first book was, like, a Twilight fanfic? Yeah. They're new adult romance novels. Um, not much to them. I mean, it's early Christina Lauren work, so it's not as in-depth. It's basically smut. Like, smut, smut, smut in these novels. But I enjoy smut, so... <laughs> she does. Yeah. So I am excited to have it and read it. I believe it follows Sarah and Max, 
who you do see in the previous book. Oh. Yeah. Good old Sarah and Max. Good old Sarah and Max. Um, just some quick shots here. I also picked up The Arrow and the Fairy. This is volume one by Ayuko. I'm saying that wrong. This one's actually a really cool manga idea. So it's kind of like Victorian setting, which you don't see a lot in manga, right? I feel like that's something you don't see. Black Butler. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, and this follows Lydia Carlton, who is a fairy doctor, which means that she, like, can see and speak with fairies. And it also follows Edgar Ashenbert, who claims that he is descended, um, from the human ruler of the fairy kingdom. Convenient. Yeah, yeah. and he needs her to help him get back. I think it's, like, a weapon, if I remember correctly. I really enjoyed this book. It's actually a very short series, too. I only think that there's, like four or five volumes in total. It was a very short series, so cannot wait to continue on with it. Really pretty artwork. I really enjoy the Victorian setting, too. You just don't see it a lot. <laughs> so I also picked up uh, Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight, Volume 1 by Rin Mikimoto. Um, and I have already read, I actually just read this today, and I really enjoyed it. It is a Cinderella retelling, which sounds like run-of-the-mill, right, when you hear that. Everybody does a Cinderella retelling, but this one is hilarious. It is a comedy, a very, very obvious comedy. Um, it follows a girl, Hana, who is, or Nana, not Hana. I don't even know her name. Nana. I'm pretty sure her name is Nana. Um, but Nana is, like, this super smart girl who's, like, in her student council and, like, always lives her life, like, by, like, this certain schedule. And this hot actor guy comes into the scene and she obviously gets the hots for him. And it's cute. It's so funny. So cheesy. You have to read this one. You're gonna love it. It's... Don't spoil it for yourself, though. Like, just go into this. Don't even... Don't... Just just read it, because it's awesome. It made me laugh a lot. Yeah, just dive in. Okay, I also have here um, Smoke in the Sun by Renee Audier. This is the second book to the Flame in the Mist series. It's actually the, the finale. It's only a duology. Um, I really, really, really liked Flame in the Mist. I really, <laughs> yeah, it's got textured pages. <laughs> um, I couldn't it's remember her name, Mariko. Thing. I don't know. <laughs> so Mariko um, kind of does like the Mulan thing. It's not a Mulan retelling in my opinion. It's It kind of veers away from the typical Mulan retelling, but it did follow a girl who pretended to be a boy to infiltrate like this clan of people who were doing bad things. And I'm just excited to continue on with the series. I really like Mariko as a character. She has a lot of growth that I saw her go through in Flame in the Mist, so I can't wait to see what happens in Smoke in the Sun. I just realized these are like dragons. They kind of look like cats though too. And yeah. they're in the shape of a heart. Yeah, shape of a heart, too. You can learn so much by looking at the cover. Yeah, because that's what it's going to be about. Right? That's exactly. Dragging cats in the shape of a heart with a mysterious girl peering at them from behind some bushes. That sounds weird. Okay, so... <laughs> sounds like a uh, park romance right there. <laughs> so I also picked up um, volume two of Fushugi Yuji, and I'm... Totally not saying that right. Jenbu Kaden. Um, this is the second volume, and it is by Yu Watasi. This follows... I feel like most people probably know what this is about. This is a really popular manga and anime. Um, it follows a girl who is from the future, and she gets into, like, this spiritual fantasy world, and she's basically supposed to bring together these elite warriors to summon a god to save the world, basically. That's basically what it's about. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. I really, really like the main character, Takiko. She is... She's kick butt. I think you'd really like her. She's, like, pretty aggressive. Like, beat people with a stick aggressive. I really liked her. Can't wait to read it. Ballin'. I also picked up um, volume 11 of Blackbird by Kanoko Sakurakoji. I've already read this and enjoyed it. It follows Misao, who is a Senka maiden, which basically means that she is very valuable to the demons. They want to do lots of 
cruel and unusual things to her. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm almost to the end of the series. I only have a couple more volumes to read. I think there's only like 13 or 14 volumes in the series, so I'm really close to finishing it, which is really exciting for me. I know that was the first manga I read, I think. Really? Yeah, because you had it on your shelf or whatever. Aww. I got bored and read it. Did you like it? It was alright. Everything's alright to you. <laughs> I also picked up Happy Marriage by Maki and No Joji and No Joji. Yeah, and that's an interesting scene to put on your card. Yeah, well, it's it's a romance. Oh. I would say this is definitely it's a very aggressive romance. Um, it's it's rated M for mature, so not for teens. Um, it does have some steamy scenes in it. I've actually read this manga before, um, but I saw it in half price for cheap, so I picked it up because I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And looks criminally it's great. It's quite scandalous, but it's really good. Basically, it is an arranged marriage, and yeah, they want to have it. a happy marriage. You can see how they're arranged. All right, so this is part of my March book haul. It was uh, that's the wrap up. Anyway, so thank Good night, you, everybody. For, <laughs> thank you for joining us. Stop stealing my tots. Um, I didn't thank steal you for more joining than five. us. I'm I gonna. Just three. I have a lot of books I got this month. This was a very huge month for me, but that was because I bought a lot of manga. Luckily, I read like most of this already, though, so that makes me feel really good about my book buying. Okay. Let us know in the comments down below some books that you picked up or any of these books that you saw that you really enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.